I've been someone who is expressive. I've been someone who is bold. I'm someone who just love to share my opinion. And at times it may come out as someone who is, um, you know, authoritative someone or which is not a bad thing but of course when we compare it with the the area of marriage there is how you know marriage is perceived and how women you know should act in a marriage and so people or the community or the society just painting that image of um a lady who is bold, a lady who has, you know, her principles and uh, have her stance, you know, makes you feel like it's, it's going to be quite a struggle for you to make a good wife. guys how you doing i hope you're good hope you're fine welcome and welcome back to my channel thank you all i see you all the new subscribers welcome to the family i'm so happy to have you all i'm happy for the progress that we are making on this channel yes guys and so today i just want to share with you a video that i want to give credit actually i saw someone posted this video and i could really relate and being in my season i thought it's a good topic for me to share with you about and this is the wrong mindset I had in my youth regarding marriage. The first wrong mindset I had about marriage is I had to prove that I am a wife material. Yes, I had to prove and I know there is always so much pressure as uh, you know we are told that you have to you know to be to be a wife okay for you to you know find the husband and most of the time I think I thought that um, I needed to prove it but one thing I have come to realize is that once you work on yourself you'll just become and you come to a place where you don't really have to prove and so I thought I needed to dress in a certain way to prove to men that I'm a wife material I need to I needed to you know act in service like um let me just give this example like in 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 especially i think it's a, a thing in the african setup where our mindset is that a wife material is someone who serves and so there, there was this pressure to just uh you know serve in front of men because we wanted them to see you that you know you can you know you can take care of them you can take care of at home and this is one wrong mindset i had and i remember getting to a point where i asked myself no what is the motive behind what you're doing is it because you just love to do it and that actually brings you to a point where you want to ask yourself if you really want to show that you are really a wife material, is it something that resonates with you? Does it come naturally or you are trying to show something that is not a part of you? And meaning that even once you get married, it may not be something that you can really put up with. And so this was a wrong mindset and I had to adjust for me even to, you know, get married, you know, or find the spouse because I realized that it was a wrong mindset that really did not even yield any fruit. And so I got to a point where I asked myself, if we are, let's say, in a place where ladies are required to help, am I doing it from a place of, um, you know, seeing need or because I love to do it or I'm doing it because I want to attract or I want to get the attention of the opposite sex? And so that was one of the wrong mindset that definitely will not yield results because, you know, as you, you may attract someone, but to keep them really is another whole story that will also depend on who you are now as a person so leave alone even trying to attract are you that thing that you're really trying to prove and i realized that there's no need to prove the person who loves you will love you and i remember coming to a place by the time i was getting married i was like the man who will marry me should love me as i am yeah should just love me he doesn't have to know because he's not marrying me because of the work that i can do yes i have to know how to take care of a home 
home have to know how to do all that but he should not the motivation or the reason behind where he's coming to me should not be because of those things should be because of how he has seen me the person i am and he loves the person that i am and those other things can be learned or they're just an addition and the other point is compromise i thought that um when I get into a relationship, I needed to compromise my values to please that man for him to marry me. Let's say, for instance, if you don't love something, but because you love to please them, you compromise your values. And at times it will really cost you to even do some things that are not right because you wanted to please that man to, you know, put a ring on your finger to marry you. But it was totally a wrong mindset. Having been married, I have learned that the person who marries you will not need you to compromise anything. He will love you for who you are. Yes, he will love you for who you are. And in fact, the values that make you you are the ones that will attract him to you. And so you don't need to compromise and if you really and one thing i loved about my relationship with my husband and i knew it was right i didn't need to compromise on my values at all and he actually affirmed the things that made me me he affirmed my stand in life you know even growing up in terms of my personality i felt like i had a quite a strong personality and most of the time people and mostly men that I interacted with will put me down because of that. But the first thing my husband affirmed is that I love that you are tough. Okay? And I'm like, this is the thing. Most people have been getting me to compromise all along. And I remember I thank God because uh, I didn't get to a place where I did that. And uh, thank God even for my, you know, my mom who nurtured me, he told me, be yourself, the man who loves you, who is meant for you, will love you the way you are. And it is not a limitation. At times we are forced to compromise things that are really, you know, make us different, make us, you know, us, you know. And so the first thing that my husband actually complimented me on is, I love that you are tough, okay? And thank God, because that is what also chased every other person away who was not meant to be. Yes, so I don't mean that you be in balance, but whatever makes you you, you don't have to really compromise, especially if there are values, you know, that make you different from other people. You don't need to compromise to attract love and that was also a wrong mindset i had attracted of course some of these things are because of our experiences with people that is what puts us a place where we want to you know change who we are to just you know be accepted by these people that was one of the wrong mindsets i had that will not yield good results or if 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 in any case i would have attracted a man because of compromise i think i will not be myself and i will not even be enjoying you know you know the person I am because you can only compromise for for so long I mean you can only compromise for so long but I thank God that the man who married me loved me as I am the other wrong mindset I had was I knew exactly the man I needed like I thought I knew the man I would want by just looking at how people behave and uh, you know comparing some aspects of my life with them but I was totally wrong <laughs> I was wrong when God chose my spouse for me I was like oh my god you knew what I needed and so that was one of the wrong mindset I had I thought that I will look at someone and compare the values they have with what I really think I am looking for or I need or I'm lacking and uh, yeah just know that these are meant to be you know this person is meant to be with me but I was totally wrong and that is a wrong mindset God knows as he see that he took the rib from Adam and uh, it was a part of him God knows exactly who you need you don't know you don't know i thought i knew but when i met my husband it complimented everything about my life so that was also another wrong mindset that i had that marriage is so far-fetched and uh i want to say that some of these points i had to be in a discussion with my husband to come up with some of these points and also just compare and uh, most of them resonated and especially this one is also one in which we had a common you know thought about the same that marriage was so far-fetched you know when you're still a you there is always this feeling that yes i desire to be married but you don't know 
like how long will i be waiting and most of the time we think that it is too far that was me i thought that marriage was so far when you pray to god and you ask for something and you think that it will take you years to wait for it marriage is so close than you think the only thing that will make you you know have it in that time or not miss out on your season is your alignment and your preparation and that's what i noticed when i took time to just work on myself and just zoom in and just focus my strength on me and working to become a better person i think that is what god is actually looking at just are you prepared you know as we are always told we are always told that preparation meets opportunity i think what puts us at a distance between us and that you know thing that you are trusting God for is actually the preparation to have that thing and so marriage is so close than you think that was the mindset I thought that uh, mindset was so far but the moment I was working on myself I even didn't know that I was ready I thought that I was still the journey was still going on God was like my girl your time is come, your time has come and so I would have to confirm that to you that keep working on yourself and you don't know marriage is so close to you especially if it's something that you have been desiring and you are also working on yourself to do better it is so close than you think it is so close you don't need even to you know worry or stress about it God is just looking at your heart and looking at your preparation <laughs> that marriage was more natural or physical than spiritual yes i thought that marriage was so natural and that is what informs why you know we want to act in a certain way we think that it is by how we dress by how we you know do things to try to prove to men and have them you know see us and notice us and like us but i realize that it is so less about the physical or the natural you know things that we do and more so about the spiritual you know it is something that god is meant to orchestrate it is something that it is meant to start from god then to us and so it is not about what we have to do to initiate it it is purely the doing of God as long as we are ready because even in the Bible I don't think Adam you know went to look for someone even though if he didn't find someone who was like him it is God who noticed that it's this this man needs to have a partner and he's the one who initiated the process of him having a helper and so after getting married I realized that that was totally a wrong mindset marriage is purely spiritual and it should start from above to now the natural yes the natural has play but so minimal it is so minimal i think after it god has already done his part you realize that there is so much similarity there is so much compatibility because god knows but it is not a physical thing less about the physical more about the spiritual and what god has to do okay that is another wrong mindset i had the other wrong mindset i had about marriage is that i am not a wife material more so because of my personality and this is because growing up i've been someone who is expressive i've been someone who is bold i'm someone who just love to share my opinion and at times it may come out as someone who is um you know authoritative someone or which is not a bad thing but of course when we compare it with the the area of marriage there is how you know marriage is perceived and how women you know should act in a marriage and so people or the community or the society just painting that image of um, a lady who is bold a lady who has you know her principles and uh, have her stance you know makes you feel like it's it's gonna be quite a struggle for you to make a good wife and that is a wrong mindset i had because uh, getting into marriage i have learned that it has nothing to do with your you know your personality i've learned that as i said earlier marriage is more spiritual than physical or natural and uh, yes the truth is personalities have 
a role to play and that is why the place of God has to be so revered or has to be so respected for you to submit yourself to the word of God and respect the place of your spouse. And I think one thing for me, I thought it's a wrong mindset because I gave myself to God and uh, I'm someone who is given to submitting to the word of God. Like if the word says, I will try my very best to do it. And so even as it comes to marriage, I try myself to, I try my best to submit to the word of God, what the word says about marriage, what I'm expected to do as a wife. And so that has made it easier for me because um, I just want to take my place as a wife. And so in as much as I knew that I was working with God, but because of how this thing is so much insisted, it put so much fear in me that I may not be a good wife because of my personality, but no. I'm submitted to my husband not because of you know who he is and also one thing it's not about personality the fact that your husbands can say jump and you jump run and you run does not mean that you are submitted in your heart and one thing I've learned and I'll be sharing on, on that topic about submission is that it is more spiritual than actually that just the natural expression of it and so as long as you're given and submitted to God you will make a good spouse. You will submit and reverence and respect your husband as the head. And so that is one of the wrong mindsets I had. And it made me to fear of, uh, you know, what kind of marriage I'm really going to have. But I'm having a good marriage. Why? Because I submit to God and I don't let my personality override my place in marriage. Okay. So that is one of the fears and the wrong mindsets I had. And lastly, I think uh, this may be a trauma or um, just, uh, you know, when uh, the point is, I thought my past would so much impact, sorry, I thought my past would so much impact my marriage in that I will not enjoy my marriage because of my past mistakes, because of the things, you know, I've done in the past, the, the, the mistakes I've made would impact my marriage. And this is coming from a place of, in, in as much as I have given myself to God and I have repented and I've changed my ways, there was just, I think it was just an attack of the devil to make me feel like no matter what, because you have had a past, you will not have a good marriage. And this was a wrong mindset because uh, the Bible says that whoever the sun sets free is free indeed. I am free from my past. I am free from the mistakes I've made. And I've seen it in my marriage because I'm having a very beautiful marriage. Why? Because from the word go, I chose to do differently, to do things differently from my courtship, how I interacted with my husband into marriage. I chose to, you know, do right. And so I am enjoying my marriage. I'm having a good marriage marriage and the past has no effect of course if you let it that is what the devil desires to do use your past to impact your marriage looking at the far of come i thank god because that is not what i have allowed myself to you know to 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 affect my marriage i'm enjoying my marriage i am having a good marriage my past has no place in my marriage and that is to encourage you i've shared this video to help you resonate if you're still a youth and you can relate with any of these points just know that it's it's, it's a wrong mindset you know marriage is gonna be good your past has no effect and all that I've, that i've shared and maybe you may have any other mindset that is not right no don't let that limit you don't let that make you fear you're gonna have a good marriage so yes guys thank you so much for watching till the end consider subscribing if you have not like my video it helps to grow my channel like my video share leave a comment support a girl i'll be so 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 excited thank you so much i see you all let me say that i see you all who are supporting me who are commenting who are sharing watching my content thank you so much i love you Con consider leaving a you know a comment down below if you have any questions something i've not touched on and you feel it's bothering you let me know and we shall be sure to get into that thank you so much guys for watching see you in the next video bye